What's up? This is MRI Man coming back to you with another one. This is the MRI Podcast. If you don't know, welcome to all the new subscribers, all the OG subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. This is the MRI Tech First Year Part 2. Probably the last part. I'm going to be wrapping it up. As you know, it's actually been exactly a year this month that I, I had my first official, you know, full-time MRI tech job. I had one in October, but it was kind of like a per diem thing or whatever. Anyway, I've been doing it for a year, so this is like a review of the job. Um, it was very tough uh, going in, you know, as an MRI tech, or I was a phlebotomist going to MRI tech, so it was, it was tough for me going in. Um, I did a lot less patients. Uh, our MRI facility, we have two machines. We do... I don't know, anywhere from like 25 to 30 now. Um, so pretty busy day for MRI, you know. And it's like they expected me to know a lot of anatomy and a lot of different angles for the doctors. So they expected a lot. And there's a lot of, uh, I worked, it's bas- basically three techs a day. You have one on either machine and you have one that's just kind of facilitating uh bringing the patients back, getting them changed. So, you know, and you just rotate through the day with breaks and lunches, 10 hour day. So I'm working with other techs that have been doing it for like 20 years, you know, 10 years, five years. And they're just like, well, seasoned techs and vets and they know a lot and they see me coming in, you know, not really sure. You know, I thought I was doing things right, but I wasn't doing it to their standards. So even if you're good coming in, coming, uh, Coming out of a externship and you feel good at your facility and you think you're doing everything right, you may go to a new facility and get hired and they expect you to scan, you know, with different angles and stuff, you know. And, you know, they some like to go faster. Some give you more time, you know. This place, there was all, it was kind of, a, it's kind of about speed and less slices as possible. So, you know, I had to adjust the way I scan, like I couldn't cover as much and you know, I had to be more precise, so it took me a while to get that. And my advice to you going in to externship or going into a job field, just constantly study your anatomy and know what you're scanning and, you know, just constantly, you know, like every day try to look at, you know, some anatomy, like, you know, on that com, and don't be afraid to ask questions and, you know, take some notes, and don't be afraid to try to scan something, you know, don't shy away from it, try to be there if you can for those, you know, important exams, like those runoffs and stuff like that, make sure you know how to do that, so they want to see confidence. On my first three-month review, they were not satisfied on how I was working, they said I needed, I wasn't where they wanted them to, where, I wasn't where they um, wanted me to be or whatever, and I was like, well, you know, tell me exactly what you want me to work on. And they're like, they gave me some things to work on. And I just, you know, kind of just went from there and just try to polish my skills. Uh, They wanted me to get more information um, when screening patients and just be more precise on, you know, like someone came in for a back pain. They don't want you to just to write, oh, this patient has back pain. They want you to know how long um, does it go down their, like go down their legs that, you know, Does it go to their foot? Is it the posterior leg, anterior leg? You know, so more precise and, you know, by learning your anatomy, you know, it just helps you write in better notes as well. If you know the names of the anatomy, like you're scanning a foot and someone, you know, the perineal tendon, you know, just like knowing things like that is just going to make you look like a better tech and it's easier for the radiologist, uh, you know. And they expected me to do a lot of things besides MRI tech. I had to, like, uh, call for prior studies, fax over, request for images and reports, and, uh, you know, call other doctor's offices to change orders. I did a lot of stuff for them. So by the end of the year review, they said that I, I showed, like, such a great improvement. They were so happy with me. And, you know, so it's like the work, the hard work is going to pay off. You know, you got to really dedicate yourself because um in this job in this field a good tech is like you know i forgot what say what saying they said but a good tech is like you know being in a desert with water or something you know what i mean like 
they're hard to find. And if you are a really good tech, you're going to be hard to replace. If you come in and do it, you know, a half, half-ass job and, you know, you're going to be easily replaced. But if you go in there and start doing all these scans and doing certain scans no one else can and you're comfortable and, like, we do, like, these uh, breast biopsies and, you know, I'm one of the only few that know how to, know how to, like, you know, scan that, you know, and prepare, you know, set up the table and stuff for the doctor. So, you know, it was hard at first, you know, some doctors were mad on how I was doing it and, like why what are you doing this wrong but you know i just i just went for it sometimes you got to get uncomfortable to learn you know you got to get out of your comfort zone to just become better you know and challenge yourself um to get better because once you're you're on you're on that level you're going to be hard to replace and then if you ever ask your job for something like you need days off like i asked for a week off and they gave it to me very quick you know no problem i asked them i have to leave early a few days they did it no problem so it's like you want to become that tech that you're hard to replace and they don't even think about, you know, letting you go or anything like that. Cause in the beginning I wasn't doing so good. And I heard, you know, through some people said they're thinking about letting me go or, so I really stepped up my game and just, you know, this is a serious field, you know, people are ill and people need to be scanned and it's just so much responsibility. So you got to take this job very serious. You're not just a cashier at Target like I once was where I was just easily replaced even though I worked so hard they didn't care like I, they can just replace me like nothing um, so I have gained a lot of experience and knowledge but you think you know everything until you know certain variables come in and different kind of scans different kind of like there's so many different kind of um, disease and cancers and problems and just so many different things that people have that you I've never heard of and you just continue to learn and learn more about the anatomy and just every day you go in you should just be trying to get better and listen to what your managers are saying to work on and you know if you're a student um, you know kind of get with your trainer every week once a week and just tell them like hey what do I work on what do I got to do they want to you got you got to show initiative you know and that's what I did I might have not been the best tech but I showed up to work and I worked hard. I did this. I kept trying. I kept trying and I didn't take uh, their feedback. You know, I, I wasn't offended by their feedback. You know, I was like, OK, I'll work on that. OK, I messed up. I just accept if you messed up, accept you messed up. Don't go over there. Oh, I don't know. I didn't do it. You didn't tell me I, over there. I, you know, other scan place and other facility. I scanned it like this. And this. No, nah, don't do that. Anyway, I've been really busy. Um, I've been trying to i'm trying to uh i've been trying to get a like you know a little side job on the weekend i did find one i actually got hired at this uh this hospital per diem which is pretty awesome i'm hyped up on that um so i've been really busy i'm sorry i haven't been able to put out a lot of videos um but i will be working there on the weekends and i'm gonna get paid a lot more it's great I'm very blessed all the hard work paid off and this hospital is a lot slower, eight patients a day. As to, I was scanning, I scanned, oh my God, I scanned 22 people in a day. That's, that's unheard of for one tech. That's unheard of. I scanned 22 people. I couldn't believe it. And it's going to get, it's hard. If you ever have to get to that level, it's very hard, man, to be able to pay attention and be so precise and not make mistakes and check, you got to check all the orders and, you know, you get better at multitasking, you know? It's very hard in the beginning, but you just, you got to push through it, you know, you're not the only one. So if you're starting out or you, you just got your first job or you're in an externship, don't feel bad that you're not that good because it takes time. And I'll tell you, man, I was not very good in their standards at all, but I worked hard and I, you know, I pushed myself to get better and I, I am where I am today. And I would just say try to do as much as you can, see as many different kind of scans you get, because when you get out there, you may be working by yourself. Um, I got lucky in, to work around these other uh, amazing techs. I've been doing it a long time. Um, but at this hospital, I'm definitely going to be by myself. So I don't think I'm going to leave where I'm at anytime soon, because I want to continue to learn as much as I can. Well, I'm just going to wrap this up. Um, same thing, you know, you guys leave your comments, uh, tell everybody about me, um, just give me any questions you have, I'll answer it, and I'll keep making these videos.
Till then, MRI man, I'm out. Catch you guys later.